and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of YouTube. Hope today, hope you're feeling grand and awesome in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's video, everybody, is a video I've wanted to do for ages. The reason it's took me so long to get to it is simply, it was really hard to decide on a few of these. So today's video, everybody, is I'm going to go through my top 10 favourite John Fashanti guitar solos. From Red Hot Chili Peppers. Not his solo stuff. His solo stuff I'm going to do in another video because that's a different, you know, kettle of fish altogether. But today I'm just going to focus on the solos he's done with the Chili Peppers that I absolutely love and adore. And this is my countdown, basically, of the top ten that he's done. So, uh, I need to put my phone on silent. So, um, starting, let's just, well, let's just jump in. That's the torch, Dave. Oh, I'm so clever with technology. Okay, so, diving in with number ten. Number 10 today is She Looks To Me. This is off Stadium Arcadium, uh, second disc. And there's just something extremely gorgeous about, well, about this song and this solo. It's perfect. This solo is perfect. You couldn't do a better solo if you tried, if you know what I mean. Like it, it goes over, um, it goes over a very simple chord pattern, you know, which is usually the way. But what John isn't doing is key to this. I mean, he's just doing unison bends in four positions. It's just four notes basically. The solo basically is comprised of four notes uh, over a, a, a looping chord progression of four chords, uh, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous so um first up at number 10 is she looks to me which is actually one of my favorite songs off stadium arcadium um it was really hard to find where this one sat in this 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 rundown at my top 10 favorites i knew what was number one two and three there was no ifs no buts i knew what they the number one two and three were and i can imagine some of you know what my number one is because i've spoken about it enough but we'll get there when we get there but uh, She Looks To Me is just... Oh. It's John perfectly serving the song. It's just perfect. So, number 10 is She Looks To Me. Take it away, Dave! <laughs> Sorry, I've just weird thing happened with the camera. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's number ten. She looks to me. Number nine now. Number nine is Mellow Ship Slinky in B minor, and this is off Blue Sugar Sex Magic, and this is my favourite solo off Blue Sugar Sex Magic, just because it's so inventive. It's so inventive. It's so cool. So um, so yeah. So number nine is Mellow Ship Slinky in B minor, and. My gravy was John Inventive at this point in time. So, again, let's go. People of Tube. Uh, there we go. That's uh, Mellow Ship Slinky in B minor off Budget Cassette Magic. Absolutely wicked, ridiculously inventive guitar solo. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's so cool. It's so cool. So uh, moving on to number eight now. I'm going to have to number these because I'm going to get lost because I can't count on the spot. So anyway, yes, I am that stupid. So anyway, number eight is Parallel Universe from Slain Castle. Parallel Universe. Get it right, Dave. I can't speak either. So this solo, the first time I saw this, I remember getting the DVD from Woolworths, buying it from Woolworths, the day, the day it came out. Uh, I'd, uh, they'd have been advertising it on TV, the Slain Castle gig uh, DVD, and I was, I was obsessed, obviously, being a John Nutt. And so I immediately went out and bought this the day it was out. So I, I, I went and got it, and uh, I kept, we had, my brother took me down there, and we came back and we watched it. And Power Universe solo... 
always stuck out to me. There was, there was quite a few solos that stuck out to me. The intro jam for one, obviously the scar tissue ones, uh, you know, uh, Don't Forget Me and stuff like that. But the Parallel Universe solo is a, just on the, from another planet. It's literally from a Parallel Universe, from a fourth dimension, definitely. So, this is ridiculous. Um, it's just stunning. Uh, John's improvisational solos are amazing, but every now and again, there's just one that just is just just a just a little bit more above the others. You know what I mean? There is just sometimes where it's just like, holy monkeys, what was that? And this this is one of them. So this is Parallel Universe from Slane Castle. Um, also, I'm not I'm gonna do some of these solos without a backing track, just so hopefully it might just kind of like yeah you know, wind its way around the copyright thing. So um, so it, and. Um, and all that jazz. So anyway, yeah, Parallel Universe from Slane Castle. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, okay, everybody, uh, we are on to number seven now on the countdown of my top ten favourite John Fashanti guitar solos in the Red Chili Peppers. Okay, number seven is Wet Sand of Stadium Arcadium. Um, this is just one that I couldn't miss off. Uh, this is one of John's best solos ever, in my opinion. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And... To know that at this point in time, when they were doing Stadium, when when they were recording Stadium Arcadium, to know that John only planned out the Danny California solo, the other solos he just went for it. It makes Wet Sand even more insane because he came up with that thing on the spot, which is more insane than anything. So, yeah, number seven is Wet Sand. It's just heavenly. The last fret bend where the guitar just screams. Oh, save me. It's just heaven. Absolute heaven. So, number seven, everybody, is wet sand. So, uh, again, take it away, Dave. <laughs> Okay, everybody. So, heaven. That's always heaven. Okay, so, um, question six. I'm, I'm reverting into Q&A mode. Okay, so, number six. I've already said, I, I bet I've said it. I don't know. Who knows? It'd be funny if I have. Anyway, number six, everybody, on this countdown is Dosed off By The Way. And this is John's clean simplicity at some of its best. I mean, um... There's obviously Californication, but I, I prefer the Dosed solo over, over the Californication solo. There's just something gorgeous about this solo. It's simple, it's clean, it's melodic, it's it, it fits over the chords to a T. It's perfect. So, um, so yeah, number six, everybody, is Dosed off, by the way. And it's just, you know, it's just that thing of, you know, bridge pickup uh, on a strat with that cleany, dirty, dirty clean tone of John's 
and my gravy. It's just heaven, absolute heaven. So number six is dosed off, by the way. Ugh. I got dosed by John. That was really weird. Anyway. Okay, everybody, we are on to number five of the countdown of my top ten favourite John Fashanti guitar solos in the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, so uh, like I said, I will be doing another video at some point on my favourite solos of his solo stuff. So at some point I'll do that. But I've got to be careful because of that one because uh, some of them are really long. So, um, so yeah, it might be a top five just to cut down the time. Anyway, um, so number five, everybody is off by the way as well song called minor thing and again by the way was the first album i learned of the chili peppers front to back uh i remember we got uh i got the tab book for for um for by the way and i learned every song uh and i can still remember most of them i can't remember stuff like warm tape and um uh university speaking and kind of remember but not really uh, and, a, and a couple of others as well, but most of them I remember. I, that was the first Chili Peppers album I learned front to back because when I first started playing guitar and I found an album that I liked, and by the way, it was the first Chili Peppers album I got uh, with the book, you know, it, I, I learned it all. I had to learn it all. Even, um, I say, Warm Tape with its, with its keyboard parts, I learned them on guitar. I forget them now. I kind of remember the first chord, but that's about as far as it goes because I never really learned, I never really went down that line with that song. I like it, but um, I never really played it a lot. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So Minor Thing is, again, one of those really quick, simple solos that just, you couldn't do a better one if you try. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so perfect. You know what I mean? There is just no way to beat it. You know, there's no point trying to improvise one that's going to be better because you're not going to be able to do it. There's no point trying to come up with something better. You're not going to do it. It's just perfect. You know, that, that solo, to, the solo that I'm about to play for Minor Thing from By The Way, it's just... <sighs> Again, it's just one of those like moments where you're like, oh my God, how did you do that? How did you come up with that? And where did that thing come from? It's absolutely glorious. So, number five, everybody, at the halfway mark, We this is a song called Minor Thing. It's nice, it's short, sweet, but my God, is it so good and it's so memorable and it's just, and you can hum it, you can whistle it and it sticks in your head. Oh, it's perfect. Oh God, it really is. I'm losing my mind already, right? At number five. Anyway, so um, yeah, minor thing. Okay, everybody, uh, moving on to number four now, this countdown. Number four is a song called Strip My Mind, and this is off the Stadium Arcadium uh, first disc, and this is, again, one of my favourite John solos. And um, this is probably one of the songs that means most to me now. It always, I always loved it. I always loved Strip My Mind and this solo. But this song means so much more to me now because every time I play it, and I mean, literally every time I play it, it reminds me of my two friends who live in France. Um, and and the, the day, uh, the day, you know, the day we we met for the first time, uh, they came to a gig of mine, and also them coming here, and us basically like you know, going crazy about guitars, you know, and uh, 
they mentioned Strip My Mind and stuff like that, and I played it, and it always reminds me of them. And I dedicated it to them uh, a few times, and I'm going to dedicate it again to them today. So uh, Strip My Mind always reminds me of them, and it makes me happy, it makes me smile. Um, it makes me sad as well, because <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a big, massive gap between us, about a thousand miles between us. So uh, that, that upsets me, but... But yeah, so this 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 is for them, and I say, I mean, it just it just reminds me of, you know, the, the brief period of time we, we kind of got to know each other and stuff like that. So it's really really cool. So yeah, so strip my mind, everybody. I've stayed in my Arcadium, dedicated to my two friends in France. Um, yeah, always makes me think of them. Always makes me smile. Always makes me happy. Makes me wish I lived closer to them, or they lived closer to me. Either way, I don't care. You know, uh, <laughs> whichever one, you know. Um, but like I say, we will we will be going on a road trip to see them as soon as I can travel. We will be going there. I have been gearing myself up to doing that since October last year, and uh, and it's just something that like you know I I've got to go as soon as I can. I've got to go as soon as I can, and they're going to drag all you with me. So I hope you don't mind long journeys. So um so yeah so. Yeah, number four, strip my mind, dedicated to my friends in France, so. Okay, everybody that is just one of the most gorgeous guitar solos ever it really is just it just the way it sings the way it breathes the way it moves over the chords <clears throat> heaven okay so moving on now we are down to number three uh of this countdown so number three is from my second favorite uh, song of all time <laughs> basically near enough one of my favorite songs of all time uh a song called don't forget me off by the way but it's not necessarily <coughs> the solos in the song that get me here my favorite solo of don't forget me is the outro at slain castle and i can imagine that's true for everyone i actually covered it um on where are we uh wednesday would it have been wednesday night on my instagram and i put it up on on, on facebook and places but um I was relearning it for this video. I, I kind of I couldn't really remember it. I played it for ages and I was relearning it. And um, I had it in the list anyway, but relearning it and playing it and hearing it made me just go, yeah, it is definitely my favorite part of, you know, any Don't Forget Me version. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, there's so many amazing Don't Forget Me moments, but the outro jam, the outro solo, if you will, of Slain Castle. My God, there's just something very magical about it. There really is. It's just very, it's really hard to put into words. It's really hard to kind of like, you know, to, to, to kind of fathom it in a way. It's really difficult. But it, it to me, it's my favorite part, if, if that makes any sense of, of any Don't Forget Me. It's just, there's just something about what you're about to hear that's, again, so magical and so heavenly. It's just gorgeous. So, number three, everybody on this list is don't forget me outro solo at slain castle so uh so yeah fun with delay and reverb and a strap and a marshal
Okay, okay, everybody. Uh, yes, final leg, everybody. Literally, the final leg. Okay, so that hurt. Um, ow. Okay, so um, now we're down to the last two. So number two is from a song called "I Could Have Lied," and it's not the album version. This and it's and and it's only the last solo of "I Could Have Lied." "I Could Have Lied" has two guitar solos, and my favorite of all time, and one that just really hits me square in the heart and everywhere else and just makes me feel so just makes me feel happy sad everything and it's just so gorgeous it's so incredibly gorgeous and beautiful it's just it just sickens me <laughs> but it, in the best possible way of course so yeah so I could have lied, and the version we're talking about here is the final solo at the Budokan gig in 1999. There is something extremely special about this. From the moment I heard this guitar solo, this was always going to be number two on my list forever. It's it's never it's this is never going to leave this spot. Just like number one is never going to leave its spot. It's just something about this last solo at the Budokan gig in 1999. They just Oh my god. It just gets me every time and it's just so glorious and just heaven, absolute heaven. So, I could have lied final solo Budokan in 1999. And I think I'm pronouncing that pr correctly. Probably not, but I I'm trying. And uh yeah, so just gorgeous. The way John where he goes on the neck where he starts, where he ends up, and where he, you know, where in the middle and all that kind of thing. And the way he moves, it creates such a gorgeous melody and feel. And it just fits the song perfectly. Again, it's just like one of those things of like, oh my God, you couldn't get better if you tried. You know what I mean? It really is heaven. It really is. So, um, so number two, I Could Have Lied, 1999 version, final solo from Budokan. Absolutely ridiculously amazing. So, yeah, this is my number two. And again, I don't think it'll ever leave the number two spot. So. <laughs> Number one, what is my number one favourite John Shanty guitar solo? I'm sure quite a lot of you know what it is. I've spoke about it enough, but it is uh, Danny California, of course. No, I'm joking, of course. Uh, I'm so clever, aren't I? Isn't he clever? Isn't he clever? No, he's not. He's an idiot. Anyway, moving along. So my all-time favourite guitar solo of John Shanty's in the Chili Peppers is the final solo in of the song Scar Tissue from the Red Square Moscow gig in 1999. This third solo, the first time I heard this solo, it made me cry. Why? I don't know. It just got me. It got me and it always does. It always gets me and it is just my favorite John solo. I would say of all time, even over his, some of his solo stuff, which we'll get to in another vid, but I would say this is my favourite John guitar solo of all time. It did, like I say, the first the first time I heard it, it literally just made me break down in floods. I couldn't stop. I don't know, you know, I, I'm guessing it's because of what the song means to me in the first place, you know, which I've, which I've done a video on why Scar Tissue is so important to me as a song. Um, but this solo... My God, uh, it really is, it is something, yeah, it really is something else, and I absolutely, it really gets me, it really gets me, and even thinking about it gets me, and playing it, I, I, I learnt it for the first time the other night, 
So at this point in time, it's not perfect, but I want to do it anyway. I learned it on Wednesday for the first time ever. I've kind of dabbled into it a bit here and there, but um, in all fairness, what I'd really like to do is show you the clip and, and show you John playing it because I just would, but I'm, you know, but for certain reasons, obviously I'm going to have to play it, but um, hopefully I'll do it some kind of justice. Like I say, it's not perfect yet. I only learned it the other day and um, I'm, I'm still, I'm still perfecting it. So to say I always got nuances and, and uh, you know, oddities and, and, and um, weirdness, but I will, cause there is a few bits that are a bit strange, but Again, it's just, this is perfect. This is perfect. And again, for what that song means to me, it's even more perfect. And I love it. And so this is my number one guitar solo of John's of all time. It's the final solo of Scar Tissue from the Moscow Red Square concert in 1999. And it really... It, I, can't, I can't even describe it. I can't. It's just it's perfect perfect and I love it and it does make me think of my grandma I can't lie but scar tissue always does uh, no matter no ifs no buts no matter what going on my mind scar tissue will always make me think of my grandma it'll always be her song um, and this solo really gets me and I'm, I'm guessing that's why it, it, it broke me um, in a way you know because John basically says in that guitar solo exactly what I feel, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, yeah, number one on this list, everybody, is Scar Tissue. And it was always going to be. Uh, and it will never not be number one for me, this one. Uh, even above his solo stuff, there is uh, some of his solo solos. Which, solo stuff, solos. Uh, this version, this this last solo is just unreal. So, uh, so this is my number one, everybody. So, uh, go Dave, go. There we go, that's my top 10 favourite John Frusciante guitar solos from his time in the Red Hot Chili Peppers to date, because we'll see what comes in the future. Uh, very excited about that, very excited about that, as I'm sure a lot of us are. And why do I say very excited about that twice? Do you notice that? Maybe I was just trying to hammer it home. Who knows? But anyway, that's my top 10 favourites. Uh, John Frusciante nuts of the world. Uh, tell me your top 10 favourite in link in the description box, in, in the comment section below, my gravy. What I'm trying to say, other than that, is uh, all the links to all the solos that I've got here are in the description box as well. So if you want to hear the originals uh, or whatever, I'll post the link to the video or the song in the description box below. Uh, so just click on that, you can go on, you on here. Like I say, um, hopefully I did these solos justice. I, I know there was a few minor wibbles and wobbles here, but that's okay, I don't mind that. Uh, in all fairness, wibbles and wobbles happen. You know, like I say, mistakes are all good. Um, I hope, but the, the one, I've, one I really hope I did justice on is the Scar Tissue one, just because of, of what it means to me and everything like that. So uh, that's always just absolutely, it gets me there, you know what I mean? It really, you know, when you get start to get, you know, you, just mentioning it puts a lump in my throat, and makes my heart jump and makes my eyes water and it just gets me straight away. Um, like Scar Tissue always does, but that solo really gets me. Anyway, back to, come on Dave. Hold it together. Okay, so um, so yeah, like I say, uh, guitar, uh, jump shanty nuts of the world. Let me know your top ten in the comment section below. Like I say, uh, links to all these are in the description box below. And um, yeah, also I'll uh, let you know what I've been using for the whole vid. So I was using my Tokai for the uh, Mellowship Slinky solo. Uh, I just wanted to, yeah, just just because. So he's the Tokai for the Mothership Slinky side. The other guitar side is we just used the glorious uh, Oswald Frusciante Mark III Strat. 
um, which is just heaven. Uh, I absolutely adore that guitar so much. I really do. Just look. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was not gonna say this, but I have. I have literally just. I can literally just stare at this guitar, and I have done many for many hours. I've just put this on a stand in a corner room, and I've just watched it like you would TV because. I, I love it so much and again what this you know I know this you know this is obviously you know a replica of John's guitar but what this guitar what it's a replica of basically kind of what really you know when I first saw John playing that guitar obviously not that guitar but you know what I mean it just was like who are you who are you and what are you doing to me I could feel it straight off the bat so this guitar is is, is literally it's like Jimmy Hendrix's white strap and like uh, and Rory Gallagher's battered Strat and Peter Green's Fifty Nine Les Paul. There's a certain guitars when you're a guitarist that mean so much to you. And um, this guitar is the one that means the most to me. The way you know, just because of what it is. You know what I mean? So um, you know, it really does. It yeah, because it's it's a replica of John's. You know, you know what I mean? It, it's always going to mean a lot to me. You know what I mean? So um, if that makes any sense whatsoever, I don't. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, and I will see you again. Uh, where are we today? Friday, isn't it today? Is it Friday today? Friday, March, the something or another. Um, uh, anyone getting bored of that joke yet? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Uh, I do have a little... I might have a new song coming out either tomorrow or Sunday. I also have a little solo -y thing that came out the other week. Um, also, I haven't finished, haven't finished telling you what I was using, have I? Because I'm clever like that, you see. So I'll backtrack. Okay, so yeah, I was using the John Shanty Oswald uh, for guitar. And uh, obviously for talk right. Uh, Pedal-wise, we were just using the Zoom G5N. And I was using my patch I've got set up for John Shanty sounds. So, um, which I have modified, and I will do a video on that soon, just showing you how what I've changed. Like you know, I've got the lays in there now. I've got a step filter. Uh, I've got the Metal World Distortion as well now instead of the other ones. Uh, so that's what we're using. Um, so that was all the effects. All the stuff you heard was from the Zoom G5. I was using my Ditto Looper for certain loopy parts. We're going through the Marshall MG there uh, in the corner to um, for amplification. And uh, mic'd up with an SM57, and that is it. If nothing else, nothing else to say is a no. Oh, good. So yeah, that's what I was using, everybody. So I say, hope you enjoyed this vid. Uh, like I say, John Shatney, nuts of the world. Let me know your top ten guitar solos John's done in the Chili Peppers, not his solo stuff, in the comment section below. And I'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now.